Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Lifeboat Distribution's exclusive Veeam VMSP certification training webcast. Today's training will focus on how to acquire Veeam VMSP certification for Veeam Backup and Replication V7. My name is Joe Hamlin. I'm part of Lifeboat Distribution's dedicated business development team. I'll be your host for today's webcast. On behalf of Lifeboat Distribution and Veeam, I'd like to thank everyone for attending and entrusting us to provide you with this training. Lifeboat has chosen to make these investments in, in order to bring you unparalleled service, accuracy, response time, and pre-sale support in order to help you grow your Veeam business. Please note that with the release of V7, all resellers, even if they've been VMSP certified before, need to recertify. This will allow you to sell Veeam more consistently and easily recognize possible Veeam opportunities. Our goal here today is to help your organization capture the number of VMSP certifications needed in order to meet Veeam's Pro Partner Program requirement for silver, gold, and platinum tiers. I know your time is val valuable, so let's begin. Please allow me to introduce Mike Sutton, LifeO Distribu Distribution's Veeam sp Sales Specialist. Mike is a tremendous resource that can help you with all of your Veeam business. Not only is Mike VMSP certified, but also VMTSP certified. How are you today, Mike? I'm doing well, thank you, Joe. All right, one more thing before we begin. I'd like to remind everybody that we encourage you to ask questions throughout this training. You can do that by entering your questions in the Q&A panel on the right-hand side of the screen. We'll answer those questions, time permitting, at the end of the presentation. As always, at the conclusion of this presentation, we'll be giving away a $100 Amex gift card to one lucky winner, so please stick around for that. All right, Mike, the floor is yours. I'm going to give you presenter rights here, and we'll get started. Good to go. Okay. Now, hope everyone can see my desktop here. Should be able to. So as Joe mentioned, my name is Mike Sutton. Uh, you know, good afternoon again, and thank you again for being here on the call today. Uh, as Joe mentioned, Veeam has released a new version 7, and everyone now is going to need to be recertified. Just give me one second here. I just want to make sure I'm sharing my desktop. Okay, there you are. Okay, now everyone can see my desktop. Okay, so again, my name is Mike Sutton, and I'm going to help you guys uh, with a little training on how to actually get through the certification process. Uh, I'm the dedicated Veeam specialist here at Lifeboat, and I can be utilized for multiple things, and this is going to be one of them today. Uh, so Veeam has a new certification test out, which was released a couple weeks ago. Uh, after the release that they had at the end of August for version 7. Now, with the new uh, test out, Veeam is requiring everyone to get their certification again. And for those who aren't aware of what's actually needed for your company, I'll go over that briefly. So Veeam now has a couple different partner levels. They have a registered partner, which actually doesn't require any certifications. Then they have the silver partner. That requires one VMSP and one VMTSP training. The VMS, I'm sorry, VMTSP is the technical training, which we're not going to go into depth on today, but to get to the test, it's a similar process. Uh, then for the gold partners, they're requiring it to have two VMSP and two VMTSP certifi certified employees. And then for platinum, it's going to be four VMSP and two VMTSPs. So now that we went over what's required, let's go through the process of getting to the test. So for starters, you're going to want to go to veeam.com, and the reason I'm doing this is because it can be a little confusing to actually get to the right spot. So here, you're going to go to the Partners tab, hover over it, and click the Pro Partner Portal. So now here's where you're going to be able to sign in, or if you're not signed up as a partner, you'll click the bottom right part where it says Apply Right Now. So say you are a part of a reseller that's already selling Veeam, you could click it right here at the bottom right. If you're brand new to Veeam, there's another page that Joe will actually bring up at the end on how to become a new partner with them. So now I'm going to sign in just to show you how everything looks. Uh, your portal might look a little different just because I'm signed in as a distributor. As you can see down to the right here, it will tell you your partner status and it will tell you if you're certified in whichever product. The only one Veeam is requiring is the backup and replication that you can see here. So you don't have to worry about the management pack unless it's something you want to do on your own. So in order to get the test now, we're going to go into the Veeam University. 
again, you have to enter into Veeam University for a second time. And then one more time, you're going to scroll down a little bit and enter Veeam University for one last time. Now, by clicking this, it's going to actually take you to where you need to be. Again, since I've already been certified, uh, my, your page will look a little different than mine. So the only option it gives me right here is VMTSP. But for those who haven't had the sales certification yet, it will show, show both of them up right on this main page. Uh, if you're not seeing it, don't worry. Just go under My Courses, click All Courses, and then you'll see all the courses available right here. So now, as you can see a little bit to the right here, we have the Veeam Backup and Replication. And at the bottom, you actually see VMSP or VMTSP. So as we mentioned, this is going to be for the VMSP, which is the sales certification. So if you click into here, it'll bring you to the list of pages you could select. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the product and want to get a little more overview on it, you could click these first four tabs, and it'll give you brief lessons on each one. So you have the Introduction to Modern Data Protection, the Overview of Backup and Replication 7, How to Sell It, and then also the Effective Sales Tools. All these uh, different lessons will give you <clears throat> insight that you will need for the test. But again, if it's something you're already familiar with and you feel confident with just going straight to the test, you're more than welcome to. Uh, a couple brief things about the test itself. The test is going to be 20 questions long. You'll have 20 minutes to take the test. Once you actually answer a question, you can't go back to it. I'm going to go into one of the tests. You'll be able to see that, and I'll be able to describe it a little more for you so it's not too confusing. Um, but then also you're going to need a minimum of an 80% to pass. So they do have multiple types of questions on here. Uh, you know, you have a multiple choice style question, you have a true-false question, and then you have another question where you're going to be actually matching up different items. So if you do go into the test, you would click onto here, the certification test, and it breaks all that down for you exactly what I need, uh, what I just said. Uh, so like I said, something you need to remember is that you really can't jump back and forth to pages or it's going to time you out and it will count as a attempt. So within a 24-hour period, as you can see here at the bottom, you actually have two attempts. So if you do fail it for the first time, you could take it a second time. And then if it goes on beyond that, you could actually take it again once 24 hours has you know, passed. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want to point out. Now, I know many of you are going to want me to give you all the answers to the test, but I'm not allowed to do that. So we'll go through the test. I'm going to answer some questions incorrectly or just click through them. And I'll, I also want to cover myself in case I answer one wrong in front of all of you. But uh, just remember that while you're going through that. And, you know, we'll be able to, as you can see here, it shows you, it shows you all your results. So the other things I want to point out are the key facts that Veeam likes to bring up in their tests. So a couple things to remember just about Veeam in general before you actually start this test because you are timed. Uh, Veeam is powerful, affordable, and easy to use. That's something to remember throughout the test. Another popular thing is that it is licensed per socket and it is agentless. It is built for VMware and Hyper-V, and then it has multiple levels of the product. You have a free product, which is what Veeam considers their lead generator. You have a standard product, you have an enterprise product, and you have an enterprise plus product. Those products all differ on what they actually have bundled into them. So Enterprise Plus being the highest level, Standard being the lowest level of the actual paid product. Then you also have the cloud product that Veeam offers now, which is just another option that could be brought up. Not as much, but it still is mentioned during the test. Uh, another popular thing is the paid and free version are the perpetual licenses. There are some questions on the test that will try to trick you. So just what I like to do is actually you know, read through the whole question, a lot of times there's a hint in the question and the answer, so read all the different options first. In addition to that, they bring up often there's now storage and SAN snapshots. Storage snapshots relate to VMware specifically. SAN snapshots, you want to relate to VMware VMs and individual items. Then lastly, another thing to remember is the 3 to one concept which means three copies, two different medias, and one off-site. 
That's something you want to remember before taking this test. So going into this now, as we mentioned, it is version 7. So version 7, as some of you may know, features the WAN acceleration. And WAN acceleration speeds up backups to get off-site 50 times faster. It's another fun fact you want to remember. So now we'll just start the test so you guys can see how it actually is. So as you guys notice here, right at the top, it's going to start a countdown immediately. At the bottom, you'll also notice that it's not allowing me to actually go to the next page until I answer the question. So you can look through this, and here's just a, an example of the what type of support is avail available for Veeam Backup and Replication V7 for the VMware Cloud vCloud Director. This is one of these questions, it's multiple choice. You could click through them all. One of them is going to be right. Like I said, I can't tell you which, but I'm confident in this one. So then, so here's another example of a true-false question. Again, make sure you read the whole question because it is going to try to trick you on it. And this is one of the ones I tried to bring up earlier where it's bringing up the Backman Replication Standard Edition. So it brings it up and says it provides full functionality and it's recommended to promote to customers. So if you're looking at this from a selling standpoint, you know there's going to be two levels higher than the standard. So if you're trying to sell to your customers, you're going to most likely want to sell a higher level product because if you're selling a higher level, it's going to be a more expensive product and allow you to bring in more revenue to your company. So it's something you will want to remember here. So again, you have to answer it before you go through. Here's another type of uh, question, just a multiple choice. Again, we'll just go through these. I want to show everybody the types of questions that there are. They like giving a lot of multiple choice this time, I see. Um, another thing you want to remember is that they are doing all these multiple choice questions. Um, if you try to select two, it won't allow you. I'm hoping one of these questions does come up where I can show you where you actually, it requires you to select two or three. Um, if you do take the test multiple times, it will give you different questions every single time. Uh, it, you could get some repeats, but most likely you'll have uh, a couple different ones on there just to try to give you different questions so you're not constantly doing the same ones. Uh, so this, this type of question right here is exactly what I was talking about. What additions does Veeam Back on Replication V7 uh, offer to the customers? So this one, it has little squares, as you can see, it's going to have check marks. So it'll make you select three. And now if I thought there was four, it won't even allow me to select it. So it's a good thing that they tell you how many answers there are actually going to be. And this is one of the things I pointed out earlier where it's standard, enterprise, and enterprise plus as their three levels of product. So if you tried to click gold, if you thought it was gold, it's telling you you're incorrect. Do not choose gold is what it's telling you. So as we continue to go through the test here, uh, we have another question where it's just, you know, another multiple choice. I'll just click anything here to get through. Okay, how would you explain the modern data protection bill for virtualization? This is something that uh, Veeam is big on this year, is modern data protection is uh, their new motto, I guess you could say. Uh, they're designed to solve the 3C problem. That's something Veeam has been pushing uh, big this year, and it's actually now in their logo, as you can see at the top left, modern data protection. So uh, we'll continue through here. Uh, the snapshots, again, it was something we discussed earlier and what I pointed out. Uh, for the stand snapshot, it's going to be more for the VMware VMs and the individual items. So we'll continue on here. Okay, so this is one of the matching questions. So this is going to have many different ones. So you see there's six different options here. There's going to be six different answers, as you can see. So when you choose one of them, it doesn't go away, just so everyone knows. So don't think that you could choose it twice, though. So if you're trying to still, if, if you think it's two of them, I'm going to tell you right now that there's only one answer per uh, description. So I'll just fill some of these out. This is a new question to me. I'm just going to click anything so we can get through it. This one wasn't been that used here. There we go, just to get through it. Okay, so 
Now, if I was asking questions right now, I would hope everyone knew the answer to this on what it actually supports, because this is what Veeam could be sold for. Uh, if there's any opportunity for VMware or Hyper-V, that is going to be a Veeam opportunity. So many people will ask if Citrix is involved. It still is not uh, involved yet. They haven't decided to go that route. So the answer is no to Citrix if anyone ever asks. So we'll continue through here. Again, this is one of the common questions. How is it licensed? Uh, this can be a little confusing, actually, because the old version, they did have cores involved on their tier levels. If anyone ever asks you, hey, I need Veeam for, uh, for, they could give you any description here. All you have to go back and say, how many total sockets do you want to cover? That's all that Veeam cares about when it comes to licensing. So now, perpetual licenses is, again, something we discussed earlier. So as we said, the free edition and the paid edition. So the trial, that's going to last only a certain amount of days. And then the NFRs, that could be taken away depending on partner level and things like that. Um, so that's why it isn't perpetual, even though they can be used for quite some time. Uh, another one, the, one of the Veeam basics is, here's one of their trick questions, is how many agents does it require, or Veeam Explorer for Microsoft SharePoint require? Veeam is agentless, so that's, a trick question where they're think, making you think, okay, maybe it's different for this scenario, but it's never, uh, it's always agentless, I should say. So we'll continue through here. This is another one where you want to back up. I'm sorry, not back up, I'm reading the words here. Another one where you're going to have to match everything up here. Uh, so you could just look at this one, for example, if you were, we'll go to the restore a uh, single file from a backup. Uh, sure, backup is one of Beam's patented products that they had. Uh, it is, what it does it require, it's 100% reliability, it will recheck everything for you and it's a way you could actually individually restore a single file from a backup. Uh, oh wow, I just completely lied to you guys. It, there you go, like I said, ensures the backups and recovers, uh, replicas, recoverability. This one is the UAIR. Another thing I actually wanted to point out, because UAIR was the common term in last version, now they're using universal file level recovery, recovery a lot. So if you hear either of them, uh, just know it is actually a, the same thing. Uh, if a customer said, well, well, what about the UAIR feature? How come it's not there anymore? That could just be because they're using a different name now. So I don't want the customers to think that it was actually taken away. Uh, and the meeting SLAs, that's going to help you know, on the reporting, again, like I said, read the questions in the descriptions because you're looking at SLAs, reports, reporting and documentation is right in the description. Uh, and then the last one, if you're not sure what it is, you can just, you know, process elimination there. Uh, so, again, keep an eye on your time at all times that it is going down. Uh, position at lead generator, something we brought up earlier today. It's the free edition. And now, these are another common question that you'll get. Uh, if the product actually supports the v free version of VMware, you'll get that a lot, and also of the Hyper-V free version. Uh, the answer is simply no to that. You can get that question a lot from customers, but just know that it does not support the free version because it doesn't want to basically give their product away too. Uh, okay, so we'll just move through these. Another true-false question. Here's something that you'll run into many times. This could be good to have for your customers. Uh, you know. People will say, how come it's so expensive? Another question you'll run into a lot is, how come it's only for virtual networks and that won't cover physical? Now, that's one of the biggest questions that Veeam will get, and a good way to answer it is that it's good to manage both of them separately because they're separate already, physical and virtual. Um, like I said, it's probably the most common question they get, and just to remember that little fact is a good thing to have in your back pocket. Um, here's another true-false question. We'll just move through this. And then Veeam is built in when acceleration. That's something we brought up earlier. It is, uh, this is one of their trick questions. So the, what WAN acceleration is, is it speeds up the backups to get off-site. This is trying to trick you into thinking of something with the backup itself. So don't fall for that trick. So I know I just went through that test, test very quickly. But we're keeping this presentation short, short and sweet, uh, and I'm not going to submit this just in case I answered things wrong. I don't want you guys to think that I don't know my Veeam. And I think that's it for the test. But uh, yeah, just remember, like I said, look for those hints, the facts that I pointed out earlier. 
Uh, that's what's popular on the test. When you guys go and take the test, the questions most likely will be a little different. You'll see some of the same ones and some different ones. Uh, they try to mix them up and just, you know, change the wording around, uh, but there's no reason to worry about that. Right. So now I'm going to switch this over back to Joe. All right. So we're going to uh, switch this around now, get me back into the uh, presenting screen here. Let me just see. There we go. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Let me see if I can get back in here. All right, here we go. And let me take Rice back. Sorry for the delay. We're just reworking things here. Now we're going to go into our uh, Q&A section of the program here. Um, again, make sure uh, you're entering those questions in the bottom right-hand box there, just so we can get those up. Um, so let's check to see if we have any questions. Any common questions yet, Mike? Reoccurring questions uh, when people do take the test? Um, to be honest, one of the most common questions is when it comes to signing up because uh, if you're not already signed up there, sometimes it just can get a little tricky because they have a pro partner portal mm -hmm. and the Veeam website. You technically need to be signed up for the pro partner portal. Pro partner portal. So if people are confused on how come maybe I have a login for the Veeam website but not the portal, that could be the reason why. So I would always check into that first. I believe you mentioned that um, before when we were chatting. Um, how, if if they're not if they're not a new reseller, what what exactly do they have to do if they're not already signed up with the Pro Partner Portal? I believe you went over that in the beginning. If they're not a new reseller, so, or if they are, oh, if they are reseller. a new reseller. Yeah. Uh, there's actually going to be a link at the end of this presentation that'll tell you if you're not a um, reseller that you can sign up, and Lifeboat will help you do that. Okay. So that's the simplest way. If not, you know, if, if you don't have that link, you could always go to the website and it'll be on there. Uh, gotcha. All right, so we'll scroll through and see if we got a question here. Um, got a question from Asan. Where does my company, OnPoint Technologies, earn some competency if I go for certifications? Okay, so the best answer to that... Um, it wouldn't, or, uh, the, the competency really comes down to the partner level. So Veeam has these requirements to say for now you're a silver partner. And if you're trying to move to the gold partner level, you're going to need to get uh, certain certifications, additional certifications, as I mentioned early, earlier. Um, with those certifications, yes, you do kind of get some more competencies with that. You get a little more, could be a more discount. It could be something on the marketing end of things where you would get uh, you know, more marketing funds to do events with with Veeam. So that's really what it comes to. And then also, I know a lot of resellers will require just to have certain certifications for the product, uh, for their team. So it's a good thing to be able to have and have tell everyone that you are VMSC certified. All right, great. Uh, another question we got here from Paul. Are there any limitations around backup targets such as D2D, NSA, tape, etc.? Or is that a... Let's see, we're going to... Are there any limitations around backup targets such as B2D? Paul, if you could just shoot us an email separately on that one, um, I will we'll answer that for you. I just wanted to keep this on the test today. Um, so you could, you'll, my email will be at the end of this, and just shoot me over the email. All right, one more question for the day we got from uh, Mitch. Um, it's going to be, can you be dual certified for sales technical? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I myself am dual certified for the sales and technical. Uh, some people, you know, you're going to have smaller customers, or I'm sorry, smaller resellers that not necessarily will have, you know, 200 employees and a dedicated apartment just to the technical side. So you can have both of them for that requirement, the, the silver partners that have a, a one and one that is needed. Uh, like I said, I myself, I am sales and technical certified just to be able to offer more to the customers. Gotcha. All right, so that looks like... Uh that's it for the questions. We're going to move on now and go to, let's see here, I'm going to go and move on to uh, see if we can go to the uh, giveaway and give away the MX gift card that I mentioned at the top of the show. 
Um, so our lucky winner today is Paul from Advanced Micro. Congratulations, Paul. Um, if you need help, uh, we'll be in touch trying to get that out to you. Uh, before we conclude today's segment, I'd like to review our call to action. Uh, first, don't forget to take your test. This can be located via the Veeam par Pro Partner Portal. Sign up as a Pro Partner through Lifeboat. And uh, as we said before, if you're a new reseller, Mike went over that. So you have that. Um, please contact your Lifeboat sales executive for help with scheduling a deep dive demo with Veeam, uh, help with any opportunity, uh, of course, and pricing or sales assistance. All right. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at LifeboatVAD. This concludes our Veeam VMSP certification training. From everyone here at Lifeboat Distribution and Veeam, I'd like to thank you all for attending. Have a great afternoon, and thanks again.